We can examine the larynx many ways. Uh, the traditional way to examine the larynx is with the headlight and uh, laryngeal mirror. This is done transorally and we use a fairly large uh, surface mirror with a handle to have a better grip. To defog the mirror, we should apply some heat. We can do this either with an electric heater or with a Bunsen's heater. In our clinic, we often use Bunsen's heater. The surface of the mirror should be heated for a few seconds, not longer than that, otherwise it would get too hot. We should check the temperature of the mirror on the palm of our hand. It's good if the patient sees that you touch uh, the heated mirror to your own skin. Especially it's important in case of children so they can see that the uh, temperature of the mirror is not hot. What you're going to introduce into the patient's mouth. Afterwards, you, we get a strip of gauze uh, to hold the patient's tongue. We should do this with our thumb and uh, middle finger. We ask the patient to extrude the tongue and keep it there. Um, it's not advised to pull the tongue, especially not pulling it downwards as it would cause some pain over the rim of the uh, teeth. We should introduce our mirror from the uh, side and push it till the uvula. We can even touch the uvula or the soft palate with the back of the mirror and we should tilt the mirror approximately 45 degrees in order to be able to examine the larynx. During the examination, we should ask the patient to say the word E in order to phonate, and during phonation, we would see the mobility of the vocal cords. They would close, and if uh, they close appropriately, that's the sign that the uh, recurrent laryngeal nerve functions well on both sides. So phonation causes the vocal cords to close, whereas breathing or inhaling would open up the vocal cords. So while doing this, we can observe the movement or mobility of the cords on both sides. At the same time, obviously, we will check uh, the rest of the larynx and hypopharynx by uh, tilting the um, mirror 45 degrees, we will be able to do this and we can check the side of the hypopharynx on uh, one or the other side by appropriately tilting the mirror to the different directions. We should introduce our mirror from the side, so from the angle of the mouse, otherwise we would block the view by our hands. Also, we should take care that the uh, swab wouldn't uh, fold up uh, also to block the view. We can introduce the mirror uh, from the side, as I said. We can secure our hand even on the patient's uh, face and move the mirror. Thank you for the attention.